This could be the last animals on this planet. Scientists don't agree on the exact date humans will disappear from the face of the Earth. But in a billion years from now, at 11.30 a.m. on our sundial, they predict on average it could be as hot as 160 degrees Fahrenheit. By then, the daytime heat could kill us. If we're still around, we may live underground and only come out at night. People have two options. We can build more and more sophisticated artificial environments on our own planet, or we can potentially go elsewhere. I know it's a common belief that we are destined to live somewhere in the outer solar system. If we're going to survive as a species, we are going to have to find a new home, especially once the Earth's water starts to vanish. As the sun keeps getting hotter, Earth also gets hotter and more and more water evaporates until all our oceans disappear. And it's this disaster that will make human life on Earth impossible. In Death Valley, the lake at Badwater dried out 10,000 years ago, leaving just salt flats. It's an eerie foreshadowing of what's to come. I would describe this area as totally alien. It looks like we're on a different planet, but it's our planet, and all of our planet will look like this. And from space, it will look alien too. Gone will be the blue and white planet covered with water and vegetation, to be replaced by a planet that looks more like Mars. By now, we need to be long gone from the neighborhood, move to another planet, mere spectators to what the sun does next. Now the sun swells and changes color from yellow to red. It is becoming what astronomers call a red giant, an old star entering the last stage of its life. It completely fills the daytime sky. The atmosphere has gone, and it's like looking into space. It is some six and a half billion years from now. On our sundial, we are nearing dusk. And though the sun's now a senior citizen, it's more active than ever. Now the sun uses up the last of its hydrogen fuel in the core. It's burning helium, which burns ever hotter. The energy radiating out from the superheated core pushes the upper layers of the sun outwards, making it bigger and bigger. As it grows, the surface gradually cools, making it appear redder in color. Although the outer layers of the sun are cooling, the sun is reaching out toward us across the solar system. And just like stepping closer and closer to a fire, the Earth feels more and more heat. When the sun becomes a red giant, it's a dangerous phase for a planet like the Earth. It's quite spectacular. It becomes very much brighter, very much larger. Its heat will fry the Earth. By now, the surface of the Earth has long melted. But there's worse to come, as the sun becomes more and more unstable. Violent thermal pulses of heat mean that the sun goes into overdrive. Its diameter expands a thousandfold. During some of these pulses, it expands out to basically the size of the Earth's orbit, and it will swallow the inner planet. Anything in its path is vaporized. First, Mercury burns up like a giant meteor. Venus will be next. But what about Earth? Will the home that has sheltered us for millions of years suffer the fate of its neighbors? As waves of heat tear through the sun, it sheds billions and billions of tons of material into space, and its gravitational pull weakens. This may just allow the Earth to move away from the sun and escape incineration. But scientists don't know for sure, and even if Earth escapes a fiery end, it is by now an unrecognizable molten planet. It's approaching 6 p.m., dusk on our sundial, and the sun's life as a burning star is over. But it's not big enough to blow up and become a supernova. Only superstars, over eight times as massive as our sun, explode. Eventually, it shrinks into a white dwarf, living on for hundreds of billions of years, 
but only producing a faint glow. So this is the way the sun ends, not with a bang, but a whimper. The wonderful sun that provided the Earth heat and energy for billions of years will end up being a small star not much larger than the Earth. The sun gave us life. With its death, all life on Earth will be gone. If humans still exist, we'll be somewhere among the stars. So next time you're on that beach enjoying the sun, remember, it won't last forever.